Now staying with the massive salvaging efforts, we have our Kim ji with us in the studio to provide a more detailed and meticulous picture of what's being done as we speak. ji thank you for joining us today. Now, uh, could you uh, walk us through the overall operation, first of all? Well, the aim of the salvage process here today is to try to pull the ferry up so that about 13 meters of the hull is above water. And if today's operation goes well, the next step is to tether the ferry to two jacking barges using a series of cables. And the three vessels will move as one, so it's important that they're tied together tightly. This process is expected to take at least 12 hours. And after that, they have to pull up the anchor and move the vessel to a Another ship equipped with a semi sub semi submersible platform and another day will be spent removing the equipment used for the operation and the next day will be mainly about isolating the ferry from the jacking barge and after that it's going to take another three days to pin the Serho to the semi submersible platform so that the vessel doesn't shift while it's being moved to the closest port in Mukpo some 87 kilometers away which will take another day or so and then it'll take another day to move the ferry onto dry land and away from the port and all in all the whole process is expected to take at least two weeks from today but that's barring any unseen variables and there was already a day a delay earlier in the day when the wires between the jacking barge and the ferry got too close together for the operation to continue right the next question is about time i think many koreans are wondering why did it take so long they couldn't couldn't they have done it sooner uh, mm -hmm. it took the government three years and I understand numbers and weight has something to do with it at the beginning well we're talking about a vessel that weighs up to 8500 tons it's not something the government can do on its own i mean it took several months to deal with the administrative process including vetting the companies that would eventually oversee the salvage operation and it also took time to complete the preparatory work underwater that involved divers going in and out of the sunken ferry to assess the situation and remove any unnecessary debris around it. They also put a net around the vessel and put barriers over any openings made during the search and rescue operations so that no items will be lost when the ferry is eventually pulled out of the water. And throughout all of this, favorable weather and tide conditions have been critical during the preparatory stage as they are now. Right, we're talking about more than a thousand ton of additional weight and of course people risking their lives and putting their lives on the line to right. carry out these meticulous operations. Mm -hmm. Now the salvage operation is quite significant, Jen, not just because it's long overdue, but the ship itself mm -hmm. will provide a crucial a chunk of evidence. It will open doors to the investigation, I believe. Mm -hmm. Well, the operation is a means to an end to uh, see what led to the ferry capsize in the first place with the ferry itself expected to serve as a black box of a sort. And I remember when I was covering the ferry incident three years ago, there were many theories as to what led to the ferry to sink. Authorities have said that the vessel was carrying too much cargo and that the containers weren't properly tied up. So if the vessel made an abrupt turn, perhaps due to an in experienced officer at the helm, the contents could have shifted to one side and that could have led the vessel to tilt and eventually capsize. Well, other theories include the possibility of a collision with something in the water or an explosion or maybe improper modifications to the cargo area. So it's all speculation at this point. It's important to find out what caused the tragedy and to prevent similar uh, catastrophes from happening in the future. Right, and even to those of us who have been covering the story extensively three years ago, it mm -hmm. feels like it's been a while, like but I'm sure it feels like yeah. a lifetime to those who mm -hmm. are directly affected by this very sad tragedy. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much for making time for us today, Jian. No sweat.